If you're working with a list in Excel, you should turn the list into a formatted Excel table so that you get more features available. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. Here we have a worksheet with product sales. I've got headings and then data below that. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that this data is set up correctly so it's ready to create a table. And one of the things I want to check is that there's a heading in every column, which there is, and that there's nothing directly above, below, or beside the data which could interfere with setting it up. So the row below is blank and the column to the right is blank, but in the row directly above the data, there's a worksheet heading. I'm going to insert a blank row. I'll click on row two and then right click and insert. And I can make that narrower. I could even hide the row, but at least we have separation now. So we'll be able to create our table easily. The next step is to create the table and I'll select any cell in this list. Then on the ribbon, go to the insert tab and click table. It should detect the range automatically, which it has here. You can see the dotted border around the range. It's also found that I have headers. So if that's not checked, you could add a check mark there and click OK. It's created the table now and put it in a table style, which you could change later. The heading cells all have a drop down arrow. And if you click one of those arrows, you'll see that you can sort or filter from this drop down list. We can sort this largest to smallest. So the orders with the largest quantity are now at the top or we could filter. So perhaps we just want to see the paper orders here. I'll click on the product and uncheck select all check paper and OK. If we go to the data tab, there is a button here for clear and that clears all the filters from that table. To make it look different, you can click in any cell in the table and there's a design tab. If I click that at the far right, you'll see table styles. You can click that arrow, point to any style and you see how it's going to look and then click to select one of the styles. One more thing you should do when you're setting up your table is give it a name that has some meaning here on the design tab. We can see a table name has been assigned and it just is table and then some number. So I'm going to highlight that and I'll call this orders and press enter. So now this table has a proper name that will make it easier for you if you're referring to this table later.